hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel um if you are new please don't forget to subscribe and if you are returning thank you for staying with me and for watching my videos so um in today's video in this video i am talking about um the most important or must have or essential makeup brushes you know like uh, when you go in a shop sometimes when you're starting your makeup journey or you just got interested in makeup or you've already been interested in makeup but you just don't know where to start from buying brushes what brushes are for what this is a must watch video for you please continue I will start with the um, eyeshadow brushes what eyeshadow brushes to use um, this is based on my personal experience so if you feel like oh no she got it wrong then yeah go ahead with with your experience and what you've learned but like over the few years that i've been watching makeup videos and practicing and whatnot and trying out new looks i was like i wish um someone had told me about what most important brushes are out there like what i really need because you know you you just go in the in the shop and just buy get things increasing your budget over stuff that can kind of be reduced so the most important eyeshadow brushes are these and um these are they're just one two three four five and six for me i could do any look just having this so i will go ahead to explain each of these brushes and when it when it comes to um eyeshadow application like this brush yeah cannot do what this brush can do and these brushes that i'm showing you here cannot do what this tiny brush can do or what that can do so I kind of just had to master what brushes um, pack well because sometimes I just thought oh well the brushes then I would use this one for anywhere but the moment I said okay today I'm gonna try this brush look at that this brush it's a fluffy rounded kind of a short brush I'm going to use this brush here or probably I'm struggling with achieving the, the exact color when, when you know when you when you're doing the the eyeshadow and stuff I'll be like all right let me change let me use this brush and I'll be just so amazed by um, how it will like how the eyeshadow will pop just because I changed the brush yeah so eyeshadows also like they pop out based on what brush you're using because it's that brush the brush has been designed you know to either get a lot or not even to get a lot of make makeup on it so um you need to keep that in mind so these are six eyeshadow brushes i am now going to explain each one of them i will start with this one this brush is I don't know if you can see it look at that it's a uh, fluffy brush but it's kind of more rounded and it's so small look at that so with that brush that is the brush you use for places like that let's say you need to I need my mirror now because I need to show you guys let's say you need to put two eyeshadows two eyeshadow colors over here this one is a good brush because it it kind of just it doesn't take too much space look if i get this brush this one and when i put it there look at how much space it, it is getting let me get close but with this one it kind of just concentrates in one area so let's say i want to put an orange color there i'm going to use this and just in those places and let's say up there i want to put a green color 
I'm going to put that on. So this brush concentrates more in the areas where you want. Whereas any other brush cannot reach. Like if I get this big brush, look at that. If I'm trying to um, pack the eyeshadow only in, in some area, this will just kind of take it everywhere. So yeah. And then I will then go on to this brush. It sort of looks like the one that I used, but this one is more on it's a, a fluffy brush but i said more on the chubby side look at that and look at that one so i hope this makes sense guys it's a flat brush and it's kind of short it is different from this brush so this brush works well when you are trying to kind of pack um, the makeup the eyeshadow you know like it, it takes enough color on it and then it's good for packing like that see like that this is the brush to use and let's say when you want to pack your eyeshadow over there it does good coverage this brush I will then move on to this brush look at that it's a it's more on a fluffier side yeah it's more on the fluffier side and it's longer the so the fibers this side they're kind of longer but it's more it's not compact like the other ones it's more free so this brush is good for blending out colors you know, like in most of my videos, I emphasize on you need to blend out, you need to blend out. This one is good because it's not short, it's not thin, it's just light. So it's good for blending out the colors. You know, when you've done your makeup, trying to get a flawless look, this brush is good. It is, it is very, very good. So that one. Look at how it looks like. That's why I said it is different from this one. Look at that one and look at this one. This one is more on a, a free side. This one is kind of compact. And then I will now move on to this brush. It is a super flat brush and it's also flat over there and it's just flat. Look at that, it's very, very flat. And when you've put your concealer on it, or any eyeshadow it even gets it gets more firm I don't know if you can see it okay let me do this let me do that let me do this and then I will compare this to another brush so that you can see what I'm talking about look at that I'm turning these two brushes and you can see they're different so this brush this particular brush is used when you are cutting um when you are creating a cut crease yeah i cannot use this brush for my cut crease i cannot use this brush for my cut crease it is not sorry <laughs> it is this one look so that one cuts there it, it just kind of follows you know the shape nicely I know we're only talking about eyeshadow but I'm also going to mention that this brush this very brush is also used for shaping your um, eyebrow with concealer look at that it just got this is a brush if like you watch any of my makeup videos you will see me using this brush this is the one that kind of just cleans over there and takes it down or if you want to do a cut crease and you could also use this to pack like uh, the makeup when you don't really want to mess up your cut piece because it just concentrates in the in those areas. Yep. And then finally, it is this brush. Look at that. It's different from all the brushes. It is different. I don't know if you can tell the different, but the difference but guys this brush is different i will look for another one this is by a different brand 
and this is also by a different brand but look at that they're the same so this this is a must-have and right now I'm not mentioning any brand names because to be honest with you the first makeup um, eyeshadow kit or makeup brush set I had I got this from I think from Amazon or eBay you know them ones that just come in a pack that's why I got this from and they do a good job that even the top brands do so I'm saying I'm not going to mention any brands in this one so this one look at that it's more like a pencil you know for this brush you have to use this brush when you kind of want to pack the shimmer and um, yeah the pigment a pigment color sorry I can't even talk anymore <laughs> so you want to pack your some color like some shiny color if you watch one of my videos you also see I usually pack something there or down there this does it this just does a good job and it just focuses so like when I dip it yeah and then I just put it there this you can you cannot use this kind of brush there it will mess up the whole thing this just concentrates where it is and it just does its papers so we're not moving we're done with the eyeshadow brushes I said six and I hope these are six yeah these are six guys these are your must-have they're only six so if you're going shopping just focus on getting looking for these kind of get an, a book with you and know just jot some notes write some something down and then I will now move to the the face brushes yeah because it's a uh, makeup brushes we've talked about the eyeshadow and then also the face so for the face the essential brushes that you need are these this is a sponge so the brushes are four four brushes and one sponge for my foundation I'm using this one this is the brush I use for my foundation packs well or I could just tap or I could swell it like that draw it like that some um, some brands for the sorry um, some makeup brush sets what they have for foundation is this short thing so you can just pack it on yeah and then I would move to the powder because you need to so that's a foundation and this is for the powder so with this powder brush the powder brush is more free it's it's just so so free it's different from the foundation brush so with this powder brush it's easy to kind of just pack your powder over your face yeah so this is it powder brush and then we've got um, you've got some blush so for the blush this is the sort of brush you use look at its shape I use it like that when I'm packing some color over there and I use it like that I've seen some people I think going downwards downward coming downwards yeah I use it like that so this is what you need and then what else have I talked about yeah and then for the bronze your bronze this shiny stuff yeah the shiny stuff that you see people having there or oh, around there around there this one is what you use so you just kind of then you go there if you're putting it there others put it there and others go that way so this one is a master brush as well and then finally we have this bitter sponge I use the bitter sponge when I'm kind of um, kind of um, how can I say blending out whatever I've put to highlight my face so let's say I've put some concealer in there on my forehead my nose there my chin I I then use this I'm just kind of pat it I have also seen people use this uh, for their foundation 
and then I will take us back a little bit sorry guys because I just remembered something so remember this brush that I said you use in the spaces this brush is also what I use to highlight my nose area using this bronze so it's good do there and it is, can also go there then just kind of pat and tap and tap so always remember what I've talked about the most essential face a uh, brushes and it is one two three four and a sponge a beauty sponge and then for the eyeshadow it is only one two three one two three four five six brushes and you are good to go and make that color pop so guys i'm done with this video please um if you're new don't forget to subscribe and it's bye for now till next time i will be uh, doing another video on like your essential makeup foundation brushes sorry not brushes we're talking about brushes uh, foundation concealer what not what not so it's it's kind of uh, this is the first part and then i'll talk about what you need to buy the products that i was kind of mentioning to say you use this for this you use that for that i'll explain those in another video because i don't want this video to be too lengthy it's bye from me till next time thanks guys for watching bye